Hey guys, Leanne here on Grady's Mom. I have a what sold video for you today. I have been a part-time reseller on eBay since 2003. I do spend about 10 to 15 hours a week on my reselling business because I do have a full-time job that takes up most of my time. This is my current eBay 90-day sales total. Of course, that's my gross sales before eBay fees and my cost of goods, but it definitely helps out our family. And I also sell on Poshmark very part-time. If you do want to sign up to Poshmark, you can use my code It's Grady's Mom and you'll get $10 when you sign up using that code. I do also have an entire playlist of these types of what sold videos linked down in the description box of this video where I share, you know, sales or what I purchased at like, you know, garage sales or thrift stores to resell. And I also have a full inventory storage room tour video that I did a while back and that's also in that playlist. So let's go ahead now and get into the sales. The first sale we're going to get into is this North Face. This is a puffer vest. This is a down vest, very warm, full zip. And this is the 550 collection, which the numbers just mean the weight. It had pockets. It was just really in great condition. I picked it up at a garage sale a couple months ago. I had about $5 into it. I bought it in a lot of a bunch of clothes that I cherry picked. And it sold pretty quickly because of the time of year we are in. Warm clothes are still selling well for me. It sold for $37 and the buyer paid $7.95 for shipping. The next item here are these Carhartt men's work pants. I love selling Carhartt anything. I've sold Carhartt kids things, women's and men's. I always pick them up if they're a good deal. I did pay pick these up at a thrift store on a 50% off day. I think I had a about two to three dollars into them because they were half off. They were a larger size as well, a men's 38 waist. They sold for $18 plus $8.95 for shipping. They did have some flaws, so I was happy with that. The next item is this Marmot men's blue full zip fleece. It was sort of lightweight, so not like super heavy. It was a medium, so a little bit of a smaller size. I also picked this up at a thrift store for, I believe, about $5, and it fit right in this clear little cello bag. All my shipping supplies are linked down below in the description box. It sold for $34.95, and the buyer paid $7.95 for shipping. The next item is this Columbia. It was like an almost vintage coat. I think it was from like 2005-ish era. And this is sort of like a snowboard style coat. I had to wrap it all up in tissue paper because it wouldn't fit in the cello bag. And I shipped it around the two pound weight and it sold for $32.99. I only paid $2 for it at a different thrift store and the buyer paid $12.95 for shipping. This dress was a new with tags, torrid plus size 2X full length maxi dress, brand new with tags, but it was flawed. So of course I disclosed the flaws in the photos up close with detailed images that it was missing a button and it had a flawed area in the crochet. I had about $6 into this. I picked it up over the summer and it was in my death pile for a while because it had the flaws and I drag, I drug my feet on listing it, but it sold for $42.05 which was a great profit um, in my opinion. The next item here are these Zara brand shoes. They were really kind of a weird shoe. They were sort of like a loafer platform kind of patent color, like a burgundy wine color with like a tassel Oxford kind of shoe. Very unique. Definitely not my style, but I picked them up because they were $2 and I've had good luck selling Zara brand shoes and clothing over the years. Again, in a priority box, this was just under two pounds. So I think it cost about $8 to ship and I sold them for $21 and the buyer did pay the $8.95 shipping. This is a Calvin Klein performance, brand new with a tag, gray fleece, um, I picked this up at a garage sale for $5 in the beginning of the fall, and it sold, um, someone just bought it outright actually for $25.99, and they paid $7.95 for shipping, so that was a good little flip. This coat is a vintage Phoenix Suns NBA coat from the early 90s. I picked this up also at a garage sale for $5. Um, this is the Pro, Pro Player brand. It was really, really popular in the 90s. This took a couple months to sell because it had several flaws that I did disclose. It shipped in this box under two pounds, but it had like some marks on the sleeve. It had some staining. 
It also had some discoloration on the bottom. But for a coat that is over 20 years old, I thought it was still in really good condition. I paid $5 and I uh, somebody purchased it for $45 and they paid $12.95 for shipping. The next item here uh, is a pair of Fry boots. They are like an ankle booty kind of shorter boot with a heel, very distressed looking. They did have some wear, which of course I disclosed. I actually purchased these from the same person I got the first item, the North Face vest from. So I have between five and six dollars into these boots. They did have a lot of wear. So I disclosed like, you know, the bottom you can see here is worn. Uh, they had some scuffing. They just were really well loved. So I disclosed that and they still sold for $37.05 and the buyer paid $8.95 for shipping. The next item here were these men's Adidas slides. What was unique about these were the size. They were a size 16 in men's, which is huge. My husband wears like a 12 or a 13 shoe, and these were a 16. They were really big. That's why I actually picked them up. Normally, I wouldn't have picked these up unless they were like maybe a dollar. I did have about $3 into these, but again, the big size is what caught my eye because it's a very specific buyer that's going to look for these. They did sell for $20, and the buyer paid $7.85 for shipping. The next item coming up here is this Lululemon. This is like a running, uh, just simple workout gym top. Really very plain, no frills, not fancy. The size tag was missing, which is common in Lululemon. Um, so I just did measurements and based on my knowledge of the brand, I measured it out to be about a size 10. Um, and that's just what I disclosed it. I made sure to disclose that it was missing the tag as well. But this brand sells well for me. Um, usually when I find it, it's not it's either not in great condition or it's really, really marked up at the thrift stores because it's an expensive brand. But I did pay, I believe, $3.99 for this, so about $4. And it sold for $28.05 and the buyer paid the shipping. The next item here is a retail arbitrage buy. I purchased a few pairs of these. This is the last pair that I had left that I'm that just sold. They are the Lane Bryant Active Wear. Um, the name is escaping me right now, but you'll see it in the final screenshot. Um, these were a plus size. I think they were a 1X. I purchased three or four pairs of them. And again, this is the last pair in that bundle to sell. Retail arbitrage buy, which means I purchased them from a retail store. They were brand new without the tag. And I paid $3 for each pair, which is great because I only had to do one listing and just add the multiple quantities. And these last pair sold for $19.05 and all of them sold sold between $19 and $25 each. The next sale here, I got these on a half off day at a thrift store. So they were marked $9.99 by the thrift store and they were half off. So I paid $5. They were in absolutely beautiful condition. They were like a pebbled platform, stiletto, Mary Jane, really unique. Um, I personally don't wear stilettos and heels unless I have to, like if I have to go to an event or, you know, something dress up or something, but I just like to be comfortable. So they were really nice. So they look like they were literally never worn, which is why I picked them up. If they weren't half off that day, I would not have purchased them, but I was happy with the sale. I paid uh, five. They sold for 27 and after Poshmark fees, I think I netted about $21 or so because Poshmark takes. 20%. The next sale here is this green half zip North or not North Face Under Armour uh, vest. It was pretty lightweight, but Under Armour stuff is, you know, pretty warm. This is the cold gear line. It was just this nice like green color. I have about $3 into this. Um, and again, cold weather things, vests, jackets, boots, sweaters, things like that are continuing to sell well for me this time of year, which makes sense since it's December. Um, but this, what Under Armour stuff just consistently sells for me. It's very like bread and butter. It's not a huge profit, you know, or a huge dollar amount, but it sells pretty consistently and quickly. And it sold for $19.05 and the buyer paid 6 
$6.95 for shipping. The next few sales are my personal items. This is a Hollister coat. It's my personal coat. I just never wear it anymore. I've had it for probably over five years. It's a really nice coat. It's like this army green. It's Sherpa lined. I wore it for literally five years and it sold for $35 with $12.95 for shipping that the buyer paid. And I was happy with that for a used coat. The next item are also a personal item of mine. They are Hollister brand. They are like an overall distressed, um, just pretty basic pair of jeans, overall jeans. I had these for a few years, but I rarely wore them. I think I only wore them, I don't know, maybe two or three times. Um, and they did sell for $26 and the buyer paid $7.95 for shipping. And I was happy with that because I never reached for them. Another personal item of mine, this is a Kate Spade New York crocheted like baby pink dress. It's an absolutely gorgeous dress. I've had it for years. I did wear it twice, once to a wedding and once to a baby shower a long time ago. I sold it on Poshmark for $60 and after Poshmark fees, I netted $48 and I was perfectly happy with that. It was just collecting dust. The next item is a vintage item by Nutmeg. This is a shirt from about 1992, I believe. Anything Michael Jordan that's vintage sells really well, as I'm sure most of you can imagine, since he is an iconic figure in sports and pop culture. But this item I picked up at a thrift store for $3, and I had it listed high, and I got several lowball offers, but I held my ground. I wanted to make at least $50, and I was able, I was happy with that $48 um, sale. The last item here in this video that I'm going to showcase is my husband's previous Patagonia fleece. He's had this for pff, over five years, guys, maybe six or seven years. He, it literally was collecting dust in the back of the closet. He never wore it. And Patagonia is hot right now. As you can see, we sold it for $150 and the buyer paid $9.85 for shipping. And I'm happy to see that go because he never wore it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing some of my sales the past couple weeks. Have a great day and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.